Hi there, I'm Smallant1 and welcome to my advanced strategy tutorial. In this video, I'll be explaining Scooter Clip, which is a difficult strat that skips Capture and Metro to save up to 7 seconds. Scooter Clip is performed by taking control of this scooter near the beginning of Day Metro and using it, with motion controls and a precise flick of the control stick, to clip Mario's head just far enough into this cage to collect the moon. To do this, you first have to know that the scooter is subtly affected by motion controls. For Scooter Clip, you'll need to tilt the scooter over as far as possible, and to do that, you need to tilt the controller a little over 90 degrees from level to the floor. Here's an example of what that looks like on a Pro Controller or Joy-Cons in the Joy-Con grip. If you're using separated Joy-Cons, you are able to tilt only one of them, but it would need to be held nearly upside down. Now that you know that, I can explain the clip. There are two common ways the clip is done, by colliding with the edge of the cage and slipping past it, or by just cleanly driving by. Colliding with the cage is obviously the slower method, but it makes the timing a lot easier to collect the moon. For this method, hit as close to the edge of the cage as you can, and then slowly nudge the scooter to the right until the moment it slips past. The reason that you collide with the cage is because it makes it much easier to get directly beside the cage when driving by. If you nudge too aggressively, then the scooter might be too far away when you slip, so once the scooter is close to slipping, you can stop nudging, and let the scooter slowly slide to the right until it slips. The moment after the scooter slips, you'll need to turn the scooter left so that Mario leans just far enough to collect the moon, all while awkwardly holding the controller sideways. If you miss the timing, then this trick is easy to retry by lining up the scooter again against any other corner of the cage. Once you're comfortable and consistent in collecting this moon with the collision setup, then you can start to try the drive-by. The drive-by is a lot tougher, instead of using the collision with the cage to get as close as possible, you just need to get the scooter close by driving well. Then, during the drive-by, tilting the control stick to the left when it feels like you're in the correct position. The drive-by is all about skill and doesn't have much of a setup. One thing though, it feels like the drive-by has a bit more leeway in how close you need to be beside the cage. Sometimes, if the turn is timed perfectly, then the scooter can be relatively far away. That isn't confirmed though, it just feels like it when I'm performing it. But, for the drive-by, you really just need to practice it until you get good. So learn the collision setup to get a feel of how to do the trick, then once you're super consistent with that, give learning the drive-by a try. Other than that, the only thing to mention is after the moon is collected, you can hold the controller like a normal human being again, drive over to this awning, jump the scooter, jump off of the scooter, and cap throw to have Mario bounce from the awning. That's all there is to Scooter Clip. If I forgot any details, or if you have any helpful tips, feel free to leave them in the comments below, they are much appreciated. Thank you for watching, be sure to like and subscribe, I'm Smallant1, and I'll see you next time.